It's whiskey review time. It is whiskey review time. Sure is. Uh, happy Friday. <laughs> Fry? Rye? Oh. oh. <laughs> wow. Right over. Woo. Well done. Yeah. Let's get that again. Thank you. Thank it's one of those you have to like, turn out because it's always quiet for some reason. Gotcha. Uh, we have here. We're here on a Friday. We are. And so we're going to drink some rye. We are. We have some rye. Yeah. So we got the, uh, the old E.H. Taylor yep. straight rye. Happy to get my hands on this bad boy. Yeah, man. Waited uh, in line. It was scary with this one. Um, reason being, I waited in line mm-hmm. on my lunch one day. Mm-hmm. And I was a sixth person in line, okay? And I see the box come out. The dude in front of me is like, oh, man, he's like, the box is open. He's like, they probably kept uh, one. And I'm like, oh, shit. And I'm just hoping the people in front of me, I'm like, maybe somebody in front of me is here for the peach, Crown Royal. Because oh, that, that was like the big on. thing that yeah. was going on. I'm yeah. like, please, somebody. But anyway, it turns out I was sixth. Everybody in front of me got one. And I go, you got, you got any left? He's like, yeah, we got one left. I'm like, oh, thank God. So, oh, yes, nice. I was able to get one. Otherwise, that hour wait in line would have been a waste of time. Sure. But uh, it was definitely exciting. So, yeah, it's, I hope it's, it's good. It's cool. The, uh, the Colonel Taylor's, uh, you know, Buffalo Trace, it's, you know, the, the big name in bourbon, really, or in whiskey. Um, we are pretty lucky in that we can get the small batch pretty yeah. regularly. I mean... I guess it's harder now. I guess over the last couple of years, it wasn't wasn't too bad. No, it's uh, a little bit tougher now. I think I've gotten two bottles now. of it in the last year. Yeah, but um, but the other varieties we just don't see often. You know, no. once, once a year they drop, and you don't know when, and it just happens. Um, but we did all right this year. So yeah, we got a, both got a bottle of the. Uh, we did the. We got the barrel, barrel proof, proof, and then uh, we got this you got one. one of these. So. That's exciting. Uh, I was not as lucky as when I went. Uh, I was number seven in line. <sighs> so. I feel like it's tough, man. Like, it's when people find out, you know, and sure. it seems like people find out a lot quicker than we do because <laughs> uh, yeah. you're sometimes like, oh, you get like the heads up. Right. And then like, for example, you went to what Giant Eagle the one day yeah. and you said you were, you got there at like 730. There was already like 18 people there. The last time I went to go stand in line, it was 730 and I was twenty fourth in line that's ridiculous so i turned around and left and said i'm done with this yeah <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just done like i'm not doing it's it. frustrating i went there the last two weeks to go see what they had mm-hmm. and there's no line so i'm like apparently there's nothing here i think they had um no actually nothing i think mm-hmm. they, they brought in antique that was about it so well, anyway enough of the lines yeah what do we got here so uh, we have the so uh colonel taylor uh Straight rye, mm-hmm. that variety. It's 100 proof, uh, of course, bottled and bond. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, I'll start with the, uh, the, the tube. Love tube. Uh, iconic, right? Like, mm-hmm. Colonel Taylor stuff is always in this cool-looking tube, um, which basically just mirrors what the bottle looks like. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's pretty cool. I like it, that. I, I love the tube. the tubes over yeah. on your bar or wherever. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's you know, I never thought about it. Like when I first got like my first few bottles, mm-hmm. I just tossed the tubes, and I'm like, I still do. I know. I'm like, man, maybe I should have like held on to them, just, like collected them or something. I mean, it's not yeah. a big deal. I only have a few, but I'll crack it open. Uh, but yeah, the tube's definitely cool. It, it gives it some bonus points for the uh, for the bottle. The bottle itself is, you know, it's the the wine bottle or whiskey bottle look that's just a taller looking kind of like a wine bottle, but it's different. But it's got the different shaped neck um, on it. This is the classic Colonel Taylor. Got the nice uh, uh, tax stamp thing over top of it. Ah, uh, you know, this one's just red. It's red. Another right. one, small batch is what, orange? Yep. So, I yeah, I don't know, it's cool. It is cool. I actually kind of like that they did the rye in red. Yeah. Because usually it's, it's green. Yeah, right, a lot of rye stuff is usually green. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. It's cool. I think they're barrel proofs like a green or a it, Barrel blue. proof is green. Yeah. I think right. the four green was blue, if I remember correctly. Uh, but, yeah, Colonel Taylor, definitely a really cool bottle. Uh, everyone knows about it at this point. Um, seems to be a a big deal. So Yep. We just have the lottery for it, right? Yeah, right. Good pop. Nice. 
some decent pops. Get some good pops. Yeah, I'm excited. This is one of the varieties that I actually haven't had. Same. Get in there. Oh, listen to that. Nice little cork. Uh, all right, what do you think? What does it look like? Well, it looks... Tell uh, me about it. You know, good whiskey color. Mm. So, I don't know, does it look kind of... It's got a, a reddish hue to it. Yeah, a little amber. Mm. Amber. Um, yeah, looks good, man. Drips. A little drippage. There's some drippage. It's thicker 360 over here. drips, actually. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Ooh, now that I'm turning it. <laughs> Ooh. Solid uh, drips. Yeah. Good color. Uh, mm-hmm. Not too dark, but also not light. I think amber is the right word for it. Yeah. A little honey. A little honey. A little honey. I like the honey. Yeah. We all, do. all right. Let's get our nose in there. Ooh. Mm. It's got that minty sensation that you yeah. love from a rye. Get the spice. What is going on? Cool horn. Yeah. Is that Herbie? Is that the what was <laughs> yeah. it? Is that the bug? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it smells, smells good. good. Yeah. yeah. Jinx. Poop, you owe me a whiskey. Oh, damn it. <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of spice. A uh, little bit of ethanol. Yeah, a little bit. It's not, it doesn't, it's not like, um, it's not too strong smelling. A um, little sweetness to it. Definitely get that bit. spice, though. Yeah, you, you definitely have that. That's majority. Spice, that, that, that clove type of. Aroma to it. it. Smells good. Yeah. Okay. All right. I got you. Oh. Beautiful. Okay. Not as much spice as I was expecting. No, not like from the nose. Well, let it sit on for the a back. minute. On the back, for sure. So the finish on it. Actually, on the back, you get a deep cinnamon. Yeah, so on the back, like the finish on that is definitely cinnamon spice, for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, not too much sweetness, though. I mean, it's still, you know, you have the cinnamon spice. Mm. Definitely There's dry. a lot of wood in there. Yeah, it's woody. Um, I like that. But it tastes really, I, I, like, I like the taste of this a lot. Oh. Yeah, it's actually pretty heavy on the cinnamon on the end. Mm-hmm. Uh, finish is decent. Not super extended, but it's there. Yeah, you get it still. Um, what do you say this is 100? Yeah, 100 proof, as are all E.H. Taylors. That's true. Mm-hmm. Good call. Um, well, actually, well, 90- I don't know what the barrel proof is. Well, okay, yeah. I don't know. Whatever. This is 100. So, mm, oh, value two is uh, seventy bucks. Okay, um, and retail. You know, caveat to that is here in Ohio when we do find it, it's well, Jesus, always man, in retail. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I saw it online, four hundred bucks. Stupid, stupid prices. Yeah. It's like, oh my god, man, come on. Yeah, and, and that's why we don't mess with secondary though, because no, I'm gonna buy it in the store and like whatever I can so find, much. whatever I can find, and if I have a chance to buy it, then I'll get it. But like, I'm not spending. Three hundred dollars on a bottle of this, so seventy bucks. That's it's pretty damn good. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like E.H. Taylor. This is pretty good, um, man. All I could taste as we're sitting here talking is just that cinnamon spice, and um, it lingers with you on the yeah. back for sure. Yeah, it's good. I like it. It's there. Oh, it's there. Freaking there. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I do too. Um. All right. Good. Got something in mind? I'm saying, do we miss anything? Oh, we good. So, yeah. Okay. We're good. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do that. Um. You don't score until you score. Until you score. That's, That's right, right, baby. All right. So I'll start. I okay. uh always love the Taylor bottles, man. I always mm-hmm. love the H. Taylor bottles. I just classic. It's very classic. 
just everything about it. Um, value's good, you know, 70 bucks. Can't beat that. Um, taste is good. The smell on the nose, it's nice. Uh, I'm going to go with an 8 4. Nice. And I don't know if I'm doing that because I like E.H. Taylor so much. I love their small batch. Mm-hmm. Oh, their small batch is so good, you know. And I and like I like I love the idea of E.H. Taylor. I what don't know if it's secret. A, yeah, I like secrets. It's not really a secret, but you know. Okay, I actually like the small batch better than I like the single barrel. Okay, yeah, I don't think I tried the single barrel. Oh no, I have had the single barrel. We did it on the show. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I forgot. Um, yeah, you, 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 I I agree with you. I, I do love I, the fair, small batch. It's so good. To be fair, there are probably some single barrels out there that are better than the one that we happen to get. Yeah, so that's true. That's true. It just depends. But but from a consistency consistency standpoint, I love Ta- E. H. Taylor Small Batch. Yeah, it's so good. And we do have the um, barrel proof to try still, mm-hmm. and I hear nothing. I've heard this, but good things. Really, really I heard. Good. Yeah, people are like, yeah, all day. That's what like talking about trades and shit like that. Because I was like, oh, maybe I'll get a bottle of single barrel. I'm like, I just want to give it a try. Or, you know, this is before. And uh, they're like, dude, I would take the barrel proof any day. Oh, definitely. Any day, it's 100 times better. I'm like, all Definitely right. the barrel proof. But even like from small batch to single barrel. I oh, like, yeah. I like small batch, batch is where it's at. And, and it's a lot cheaper. <laughs> That's true, too, which is nice. Um, um, but, yeah, I think 8.4 is where I'm going to stick eight, with four that 8.4 for you. Uh, I'm going 8.1. Okay. I think this is... Uh, a very solid rye. Um, I've certainly had better ryes. For sure. But uh, all things considered, price, the I, I'd be lying if the E.H. Taylor name and bottle itself didn't boost it up a little bit because it is I think so that's where I, I think it's where you, um, that boosts it for you a little bit for me as well. I just yeah. think that something about it, I don't know what. It's cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, eight one. You went eight four, mm-hmm. uh, and I think that's about right. So, uh, let us know what you think about the Colonel Taylor lineup. Uh, specifically, we did uh, the straight ride tonight. So, mm-hmm. uh, that's the review. Check out all of our reviews at www.thetalkingdads.com. Uh, text us. 216-279-8475. Nailed uh, it. Let us know about it. We can talk whiskey or text whiskey all. As much as you want, really. Yeah. Um, but yeah, do that. Uh, follow us on all the socials. Download the podcast. Absolutely. That's what we're here for. That's what it's all about. So, uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Let us know uh, in the comments or on any of those other channels what you think about Colonel Taylor Straight Rye or any other whiskey. And uh, we will catch you next time. Thank you. Peace. <laughs>